Along with health, I think agricultural productivity is, is one of the most basic things that can help the poor move to a more prosperous life. In fact, there have been great innovations in agriculture. And as a, a farmer is able to produce more, uh, they can have a buffer stock. So if there's a bad year, uh, they still have enough to eat. And they can take some of the excess and sell it so that they can buy books and send their kids to school. In the world at large, there was a green revolution. And all over Asia, South America, the United States, the productivity of farming increased dramatically. Uh, that green revolution was based on new seeds. And it raised nutrition levels. It reduced poverty. It was a fantastic advance. It had to be managed carefully to make sure that there weren't environmental damages or that all farmers had access. But along with medical advances, it was one of the, the great breakthroughs of all time. Now, we need to bring that advance to Africa. The same improvement in crops has not yet taken place there. Uh, it's partly because the crops are different, uh, the climate is different, and the investments have not been made for those particular crops. And so our foundation, along with others, is putting money into those innovations, uh, better approaches to growing the food. Uh, the seeds are key. Uh, spreading the farming techniques around, getting the farmers so that they can sell that excess output, and they have a way to prepare it uh, so that it's attractive to the market. Uh, these are complex problems, but done properly, uh, we can help over 150 million people triple their income in a few decades. And what that means for their livelihood is very, very dramatic. Now, I grew up in the city, so I don't know much about seeds and fertilizer and irrigation, uh, but I'm fascinated uh, to be learning about these things, going out on trips, uh, seeing that it is about technology, but it's also about education. It's also about uh, partnerships here where uh, we've got uh, scientists working with people who understand the problems in the field. And so also in this area, I think we can be very optimistic that we'll make dramatic progress.